What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House from their DCO commentary. I uh, bring you some commentary here today because uh, I want to talk about something that I found on the forums here. And man, I've got to start going to the forums more often, other than to just try and get my own little campaigns going over there. Because uh, there's some good stuff popping up on the forums um, up there. Uh, right now, currently, um, there is a uh, post up there under uh, developer discussions. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on the PC side too, but I know it's for sure it's on the PC, PS3 side. Um, discussing uh, DLC 8, The Halls of Power, where uh, they're looking for our input. Um, Jens Anderson uh, started a post up there looking for an input. Um, there's going to be um, a series of updates prior to um, DLC 6 coming in. Obviously, the updates are going to deal mainly with the League Management tab uh, on the UI. Um, as some of you may know, the League Management tab is not very useful at all. I mean, you post a message of the day, you can change your rank names and set the permissions for those ranks, but that's it, basically. Um, there's not much else you can do <laughs> with it. So, they're looking at revamping that. Um, now, uh, there is there is another post um, on the forums that I want to talk about, too. Uh, it was started by this guy named Prestige. All right, first of all, I just want to say this. Excellent, excellent, excellent freaking post. Um, this guy tossed up some images, put together some images on, on what, you know, he would, you know, just some ideas for the League Management tab. And, oh, my God, it's freaking phenomenal. It's fantastic. Um, the uh, ideas he's got, he's put together f um, for this. Um, I haven't read it, um, the the post completely itself i was too awestruck by the freaking images but um <laughs> uh they're, they're fantastic um i really would like to see the ui become what this guy's um posted up here but uh as again stated here on the um post um and the, the post about uh dlc 8 uh they're looking at um dramatically improving the, uh, the management and information that's available on there they want to uh be able to you know you have access they want us to be able to have access to uh seeing you know not only uh who's online but you know who's got uh the permissions um what filters are uh player information most importantly um like you know last login what role they are power skill points uh, combat rating um you know they want to know what else i mean those are obviously the things that we're going to be getting um i'm guessing or else uh you know he would not have said those things but they want to know what else they, they want to see here. Uh, with DLC 8, the uh, actual DLC 8 where we're getting the leak layers, um, leak calls, they're talking about adding in stuff. Um, you know, they, I mean, they want to know what, uh, you know, they want to know what we want in them. I mean, you know, a lot of people are talking about a league bank, you know, where, you know, we can store up uh, mats, you know, for everybody in the league to uh, have access to. Uh, granted, you know, with some restrictions depending on rank <laughs> for some people because, you know, he has one person go in there, rob everything out of the league bank, and then sell it on a broker house. Dick move, for sure. But uh, I'm sure there are some people out there who, uh, you know, have a bad night, you know, have a disagreement with one of their league leaders and all that, and then they go in there and rape the bank. Um, yeah, that'd be a huge dick move. But, <laughs> uh, so... Um, and I actually know of at least one player on this game that would probably do something like that. Um, fortunately, he's not in my league. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, he's not really in anybody's league right now either. Um, dude's a straight-up thief. Uh, so, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I mean, they're looking at all sorts of stuff. I mean, I've seen, uh, I've, I've only read, like, halfway into this, um, post here that he's put up you know looking for ideas and all that. i've seen some fantastic ideas one of which was the uh um second post leading for the uh ui tab which i thought was phenomenal i'll say it again um you know some other suggestions too come in here you know like some somebody put up a set you know saying you know that uh there should be a minimum of 100 members to get a league hall i'm sorry that's just bullshit um, you know, you, everybody's going to be having access to this. You buy DLC 8, so why are you going to put a, um, a freaking limit or a, a minimum no, uh, membership number on leagues? I mean, most leagues, 
in his game don't equal up to that many. I mean, yeah, sure, there's some Zerg leagues out there that will just, you know, invite anybody and everybody they see in. But, you know, there are leagues, you know, that are kind of tight-knit, you know, like replacements, one piece, one up, uh, Soldiers of Light, a uh, few others out there. I mean, you know, that, you know, I'm sorry, just don't come immediately to mind. But, so, I mean, you know, and I'm sure, you know, there's, you know, guys in EU too, like, you know, Gravity, uh, for one, um, Team Awesome, Elitism, those, you know, all those guys probably feel the same way. I mean, why, you know, you know, a hundred, a hundred people, really, really, wow, um, I mean, there, you know, and there's other suggestions here, there are great suggestions, I think they're a bit too much, um, one of which was like, you know, keeping track of, you know, we, you know, who's, you know, has, you know, who actually owns what tunes they're in a league, you know, like their main and all their alts and everything like that, I think that's a bit much, but I mean, I think, you know, being able to see, you know, the, you know, how many skill points, you know, the combat rating they have, you know, power and main, you know, main role and everything. I think that that's a, that's a fantastic thing to see right there. Um, <clears throat> that's probably something more likely we'll see in the um, UI. But they're talking about, you know, people, you know, putting in like ideas for like trophies and everything like too. And this is an interesting thing, uh, talking about, you know, having like a trophy room for your league, you know, where like somebody put in a suggestion, you know, getting um, uh, Brainiac swords from, and subconstruct raid and having those in like in a trophy case in your lair. Uh, I think that would be awesome. I would love to see something like that. Uh, my only question is, would those be would th those little trophies you have be retroactive to what you've already done, or would you have to actually go in there and run that content again? I think that sounds really cool. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And also, would it have to be a full league run in order to do that? Um, people are also talking about like uh, teleporters. Being have being able to access, have a teleporter to uh, go to pretty much anywhere you want, you know, any open world, um, either you know Metro or Gotham. Somebody was even mentioning um, go being able to go uh, straight into Central City through the teleporter, uh, you know, and obviously of course the Watchtower too. But you know, also you know having access to uh, the broker vendors, um, you know, a league bank like I mentioned before and all that I think would be phenomenal. Uh, I think that'd be something to really help the league out if. People in the league are willing to donate, you know, their uh, materials and stuff like that to uh, help out league mates. Um, I know most of the folks in uh, Meta Justice are willing to do that. Uh, or I'm sorry, not Meta Justice and <laughs> the replacements. <laughs> uh, I was having a flashback. My bad. <laughs> but uh, no Alzheimer's jokes, assholes. All right. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, I think um, a lot of us, you know, plus they're talking about um, it could possibly be uh, um, a space that we're going to have be able to have PvP matches in. So can you imagine that? Uh, you know, and somebody was actually suggesting you know, be able, being able to invite another league to come in to have, you know, a PvP match inside your lair. Um, what kind of a match that would be, I'd have no idea. Um, maybe it would be determined on the group size, the number of people that are actually in your lair at that time. Uh, you know, so if you've got six people in there, um, you know, only six people from the other league can come in. Uh, what if they don't have six? Oh, and they're outnumbered. Maybe they can have an iconic come in. That would be annoying. But <laughs> I'm just spitballing, throwing ideas out there. I have no idea what they're going to add or how they're going to do it. But, uh, yeah, that would be annoying, man. You know, it's like I was chilling out in my freaking league hall with my league mates. They were like, oh, hey, look, these guys want to try and uh raid our lair so let's invite those guys in and all that well there's like seven of us in there and they've only got four people and then you know next thing i know next thing you know you know and it's, it's, say it's like one piece and they come into our lair and they've got you know lex and black adam and grundy with them oh that'd be bullshit <laughs> but uh it would be fun though um, definitely would be a pain in the ass. Uh, also, you know, the thing I'm curious about is what kind of feats they're going to add with this. I mean, are they going to add actual league feats, um, to the game now with, uh, DLC 8? Uh, you know, where, you know, you have to do, like, a full run on, you know, subconstruct as a league in order to get, you know, a 25-point feat for, you know, as a league getting, like, the speed feat or, um, any feats for, you know... One one feat I'd be really interested to see is 
um, a feat for uh, completing a raid with no um, nobody being knocked out. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe somebody gets dropped, sure, but if they get picked up, you're still able to get the feat. That would be interesting right there. Um, you know, but, you know, and that applies to your league. I think you'd be seeing a lot more leagues helping out their lower tiered members uh, to do this stuff in order to get feats like that. Um, i being uh, reminded right now of a uh, conversation I had with somebody the other day who uh, was asking me if I would run an alert with them. And but I was busy at the time, and I told him, I was like, all you got to do is just put a group together, you know, for it. And he flat out told me that, you know, I think it was for Area 51, uh, the heart alert. And, you know, he told me flat out that, you know, nobody in his league will help him because he's not, he wasn't geared enough. Um, that's that's a that's a sad, sad freaking league, man. If you got, if nobody in that league is willing to help out a member to just, I mean, it's Area 51. Yeah, it's a bit of a long alert, um, and it's kind of a pain. But it's so freaking easy. Uh, you know, I mean, I ran um, uh, my friend uh, Miss Pixie here in replacements. I ran her through Area 51 with a couple of league mates yesterday or the day before yesterday uh, to get her to speed feet because she hadn't gotten it yet. Uh, she's got a lot of feats she's got to catch up on. But, you know, I mean, you know, I, I mean it, you know, it, was, it was advantageous to me at the time too because, you know, I had a mission from an operation to do in there anyways. But, I mean, it's still something I more than likely would have done on an alt of mine that obviously that that definitely does need that speed feed or needs, you know, gear out of it. So, I mean, I don't see what the problem is, why people have an issue with that. I mean, yeah, the rewards aren't that many, aren't that big from you, but, I mean, look at the uh, camaraderie that you would um, gain in your league by doing stuff like that for people who are lower level. Um you know, and that goes back to, you know, a conversation, you know, conversations, previous conversations I've had about growing the PvP community. Maybe not, you know, uh, you know, inviting some newer players and all that and helping them get geared up. Uh, teach them the ropes, show them the ropes, you know, let them take their lumps too. Of course, you know, they got, everybody's got to take their lumps. I mean, I still got lumps I got to take, you know, and things to learn too. But I mean, that's basically i mean this that's the basic premise you know i'm getting a little bit off topic of dlc 8 but it's still the basic premise of the dlc it's it's all about the leagues you know and how are you going to have a good league hall you know and getting these trophies or you know or getting these possible league feats uh if you know you guys aren't working together and doing stuff to help each other out um but back to this uh you know these suggestions and everything like that i think this is fantastic idea um i'm really glad to see that they're reaching out to the community and asking what folks would like to see i mean the the thread is i mean it's a few days old like i said i need to start checking these forms more often um but uh i mean there, and it's like up to seven pages uh i'm i'm going to end up reading this whole thing just because i want to see what everybody's what ideas are putting in there you know and if I, I may get some ideas along the way myself. I mean, I've got a few, you know, I'd like to, you know, especially, you know, we don't really know what we're going to be getting from the layers. Uh, one of the things I would like to see that ha they haven't talked about with the layers is a teleporter inside of our layers to where we could teleport to any space, you know, in the game. You know, we could teleport to, you know, to uh, um, Gotham, Metropolis, the Watchtower. Um, I don't know about Central City. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, just teleport into the watchtower and then go straight to the dog on uh tech wing to get in there i mean that's not that big of a hassle one less loading screen though if you you know had a direct teleport in there i don't know but uh i'm curious what you guys think um obviously uh links for both of the threads the one here for the main thread for the suggestions thread that they're looking for and the link for the uh um league management menu uh, update or uh, images and everything like that in that thread. Um, I will have links for both of those in the description below. Um, definitely check those out. Definitely stop by that post and give your ideas. But I'm curious what you guys think. I, I want to see what you guys think here as well. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the in the um, comments here. I really would like to see what you guys, what ideas you guys have 
for uh, layers and everything like that. Um, you know, I mean, would you like to see a trophy room where, you know, you know, you've got, uh, you know, I don't know, the, uh, the um, Sunstone gauntlets that Zod wore in uh, FOS 3 in the Sunstone Matrix. Um, you know, have, have those gauntlets up in a trophy case. You know, stuff like that. Uh, you know, the Joker's crowbar. You know, <laughs> I mean, st stuff like that. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm i really curious what, you know, what you guys, um, ideas you've got. Um, but that's about it for this video right here. Awesome match against So Nasty here. Of course, they had Ellie from the replacements um, carrying them as far as I was concerned. You know, helped them get that tie right there on us. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really want to hear what your suggestions are as well. Uh, if you liked the video, please do both so by giving it a thumbs up or favoring it or share and share it wherever you guys might share stuff and everything. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until next time, you guys all take care. Bye.